Hey guys, just wanted to do a short um, little overview of the RC trucks here I have. The blue Chevy is mine and the F-150 is my son's. And uh, these are Mad Gear Cliff um, crawlers from Nitro RCX. Um, we're just getting into the hobby so it's something that I wanted to start out reasonably cheap. Um, these are great crawlers. We haven't had any issues out of either one of them. Um, you know, for $120, they're, they're really hard to beat. We've had them since last spring and uh, haven't really had any issues at all with them. Um, I've done quite a few modifications to them, though, right out of the gate. Um, we didn't, they come with a bug body on them. Um, we weren't, weren't big fans of that, and we want more of a scale look. Um, mine here, we I did put a, um, a castle cooling fan there right over the motor in the back, and obviously we switched the bodies out on both of them. Um, I did change out the motors. They come with a um, 70 turn um, can motor in them which is just not enough wheel spin at all you know we're going for more of a trail truck than we are a um, hardcore crawling truck um, pop, pop the body off here real quick um, I did have to build some frame rails um, on these to mount the pro line bodies on um, basically just took the elect all the electronics off of the top of the chassis and um, it's been snowing quite a bit here in Indiana this so far this winter so uh, we wanted to play in the snow so I just did this yesterday um, watertight uh, Plano box Walmart like four dollars um, I took it and uh, mounted all of our electronics inside and then uh, just ran all your wires right out the side there as you can see and silicone that up real well um, that was seems to do the trick. I've had it packed full of snow several times now, no issues. And just uh, took a small thing of silicone over the servo there, and then just packed grease, uh, marine grease around. Uh, you know all your other orifices there, holes in your in your servo. Um, for the money, these crawlers are great. Um, only thing I've had break on mine so far was the drive shafts. I don't know if that'll zoom enough there or not. Um, the drive shafts are plastic and uh, right at the metal pin gear right here um, the plastic just wallered out and uh, and did break there but that was an easy fix. I think I bought two sets Nitro RCX for five dollars. Um, great trucks overall though. Easy to work on. Um, you know if you've got a little bit of you know ingenuity at all then you, you can fix about anything on them. I did change the motor I put an axial 27 turn motor um, in this one uh, hopped it up a lot gives you a lot better wheel spin um, my son's here I just got the axial 55 turn that I'm gonna put in his um, it currently has an atomic 35 turn motor in it um, but as you can see, it's pretty much the same setup. Uh, built a frame rail to mount on top of the chassis. Um, same, same waterproof box. Put all your electronics in. Um, shocks are pretty good on these trucks. They're very adjustable. I was worried about putting all this stuff on top here, about body roll and everything. But um, with these adjustable, big heavy-duty shocks. Um, you can take all the body roll out and still have a still have a nice soft suspension without worrying about it a whole lot. Um, I did um, replace all the shock oil um, right as soon as we got them. Pretty much replaced them with a hundred weight shock oil um, Traxxas, I believe, and it seems to be doing the job real well. Um, I did put me a couple lights here in the front of my Chevy buddy. Um, yesterday as a matter of fact and a small bumper there on the front trying to scale it out as much as I can um, I do have my fan castle fan unhooked right now because of 
running in the snow and stuff. I just didn't want a chance tearing anything up. Um, but yeah, all in all, great trucks. I would definitely recommend them. I mean, you can't really go wrong for $120. Um, you know, for a, a good budget build for something. You know, for somebody just getting into the hobby like myself and my son. Um, but yeah, they're a whole lot of fun and uh, good durable trucks. He, he beats the tar out of this one. He's only six years old, so uh, highly recommend them. So thanks for watching.